Hey everyone, this is Marbos here, this is part 20 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World as Shaka. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I already skipped the AI turn to speed this up a little bit. And before I actually attack anything, I'm going to grab some extra luxuries from Alexander, just to get rid of the combat penalty. I'm only getting minus 4% combat penalty, but when I don't have to fight with combat penalty, then there's no reason to do that. So there we go, now I'm back in the positives. I will obviously lose the luxuries once I declare war on Alexander, but I'm not declaring war on him just yet. And speaking of war with Alexander, I actually have a very sneaky plan that involves bringing a settler right here, starting a city on top of the ship, because I do think this is a valid location for a city. It doesn't have any other cities within four tiles. At least I don't think so, unless there's a Greek city literally right here. But judging from the borders, there is not. So I should be able to start a city right here, and then I could use one of my great generals to start a citadel, to grab some more territory, and with a little bit more territory I could bring more units, before actually declaring war. So let's do it, I'm just going to buy a settler outright for 500 gold. Not really a big deal. I'm getting 154 gold per turn, so... Gold is definitely not my problem. And that's with like zero shedding partners, so it's quite impressive actually. Alright, so let's actually take Vienna right now. I need to hit it a few more times to bring it down to one health. She might be able to retake it on the next turn, but that's not really a big deal. Other than the fact I will lose another privateer, which is a little bit annoying. But hopefully that won't happen, we'll see. I do have one more privateer back here, but this is actually my last privateer, I think. I did queue up a privateer in this city, so I will get another one soon. But yeah, well, anyway, let's take the city now. I think this is enough. Okay, I see one great war infantry down here, and one hussar up here, but I don't think they are close enough to actually take the city. Let's have a look inside. Great Lighthouse and Statue of Zeus, that's actually pretty good. That will give me plus one movement for all my ships, so that's pretty damn good. I'm quite happy about that. So, and there's another frigate up here as well. I should be able to get rid of the frigate and the Great War Infantry, maybe. Yes, this battleship has Bombardment free and Logistics, so that should be enough. And, yeah, it is. There's artillery unit over here, so I could get rid of that as well. But anyway, I'll get rid of the frigate instead. I should be able to sink it in one shot, or maybe not. Yep, it's down. Alright, so that went well. Now, I think Ramses is willing to negotiate now. No, one more turn. So I will sign peace with Ramses on the next turn and get some gold from him. I think he had some luxuries that I don't have. I'm not sure about that. I could grab the pearls, but I can't actually buy a workboat in a city that's in resistance. So I will have to wait a few turns. And there's no point buying a workboat on the other side of the world, because by the time it comes here, the city will be out of resistance. Alright, so I'm in negative happiness right now, but I can't actually do anything about that. At least I don't think I can. Does anyone have any luxuries? Oh yeah, Portugal has some. So maybe I could trade with Portugal. I will be declaring war on Portugal pretty soon, but... No. Yeah, I won't be giving you all of that. Alright then. It's not really a big deal. I would almost prefer if Maria Theresa took the city back, because then it would be down to like 2 or 3 population when I take it back again. Which means I wouldn't be getting as much negative happiness from it. And yeah, I think she will actually take it. The only bad thing about that is the fact I lose my privateer, so that's a little bit annoying, because I'm low on privateers. But they are cheap, so I can always get some more. Another annoying thing is that my other privateer is two turns away from Vienna. 
But Maria Theresa won't be willing to negotiate for peace just yet anyway. Yeah, she's taking it back. But yeah, now when I take the city back again, it will be down to 2 or 3 population. Which is actually good for me, because first of all, it will be out of resistance faster. And then I won't get as much negative happiness from it. So technically this is good. I did lose a privateer, so that's annoying. Great, another trade route plundered, but whatever. And I got some promotions on my battleships. Right, let's take the city again. Actually no, I can't do that yet. Yeah, I'm not quite close enough. But it's fine, I can hit some other units instead. For more promotions, any of my battleships. Oh nice, logistics. I'm just checking experience. This one is pretty close to a promotion. So let's hit the artillery. Oh, I'm a little bit too close, because now she will hit me with the artillery from inside Salzburg. Oh well, I didn't actually see the city before I moved. So whatever. I could just hit the city for more experience. Or I could hit Vienna instead. That works as well. But yeah, she will hit me. Oh, there's one more artillery. I didn't actually destroy it. Derp. Now I did. There we go. So let's hit the city one more time. Or I could move out of range. One more shot at Vienna. Another promotion. Oh, this battleship doesn't have any promotions at all? No, not really. Oh well. Anything else I can do? Not a whole lot. I can get rid of the frigate, I suppose. So, down it goes. This Portuguese city is a little bit annoying. It's getting in the way. I could totally raise it, but that would be a bit of a waste of time, I suppose. Alright, so I'm taking the city back on the next turn. Anything else I can hit? No, oh yeah, I was going to send peace with Ramses, so let's do that. He doesn't have any gold, but he has some silk. And he has some aluminium. I can definitely use that, even for 10 turns. Alright, so I think this is good enough. Nice. So now I could grab some more rocket artillery units. I will only be getting aluminium from him for 10 turns though, so I need to keep that in mind. And great, Austria just pillaged my fishing boats. So that's kind of annoying. It feels like I'm wasting time with all these work boats. But at least I can get rid of this frigate now. Down it goes. But I lost another fishing boat, so that's kind of irritating. Oh well. It's fine. And another frigate over here. Not anymore. So I'm still waiting for some fighters, because this carrier is kind of unemployed right now. <laughs> I will finish a fighter in 4 turns in Nobamba. Alright, let's move a bit closer with my settler. This is going to be pretty funny. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a valid location for a city. But let's move a little bit closer, yeah. Yeah, it is. There are no other cities within 3 hex range of it. So I will be able to start a citadel over here, which is actually going to be quite helpful. I might want to bring some anti-air units, at least one or two. Just in case Alexander gets actual bombers by the time I declare war on him. He might. Okay, now I no, I can't take the city yet. One more turn. Anything else to hit over here? Nope. Oh, I could plunder the trade route. No, I'm not quite close enough. Maybe on the next turn. Can I hit anything else? Yep, I can. Oh yeah, I won't get any experience from hitting city at one health. Whatever, doesn't matter. So, once I finish satellite research, I should be able to buy a great engineer for faith. And then I could rush Hubble Space Telescope. 
and get two great scientists for free. I don't think the game will be over by the time I get satellites. I might get a great scientist before satellites research is finished. I can't actually check that in the middle of AI turn. And yeah, he's actually targeting my battleship with the artillery, but that wasn't a lot of damage. Great artist. Yeah, yeah, you can denounce me all you want. I don't care. There we go, I will get a great scientist in 9 turns. So satellite research will be done in 9 turns, then I could... Oh, great, wow. Free frigates? I'm just going to plunder this trade route instead. That's plus 200 gold. Always nice. And let's move a bit closer. Yeah, I can definitely use more space around here. And hey, I'll actually get some oil from this location. I'm surprised Alexander didn't grab this location. I'm kind of surprised he didn't. The AI would usually do that. Even if it's a really crappy location, the AI still gets that most of the time. Alright, I need a few turns to actually get my settler over there. And I could just grab this machine gun as well. I don't really need it over here for anything useful. I will leave a few units behind, just for defense, in case Ethiopia decides to declare war on me. Or something stupid like that. I don't think they will, but you never know with them. Their unique unit, the Mehal Safari, is extremely irritating. Alright, so now I can take Vienna. So let's do it. Get rid of these units first. And she might be willing to negotiate once I take it again. We'll see. Alright, this is my last private here, so I can't really lose this city again. <laughs> Great puppet, and I'm still in positive happiness, so this was actually better, as long as I can actually keep it now. Let's see if she's willing to negotiate. Yes, oh, she is. No, yes, she's sir. not. Okay. So, I need to actually keep Vienna. I can't afford losing it. I could just buy a privateer in Thebes, but it's still in resistance for four more turns. And I don't have any more cities anywhere nearby. I will get a privateer in this city, but it will need 3 or 4 turns to actually arrive here. Well, I just hope I won't lose Vienna on the next turn. I don't see any units, but if she has some cavalry right outside of view, then she would be able to take it, probably. We'll see. So, not much more to do with my workers. I won't be automating the workers, because then they would replace my jungle with a plantation on the bananas. And I definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, you can stay over here. I could totally take all these other cities, but I don't think that's necessary. Seems like a waste of time, honestly. I could raise Klagenford. It's a little bit annoying and it's pretty low on population, so I could raise it quite fast, but I'm hoping she will be willing to negotiate, so I can sign a piece on the next turn, maybe. It's not that I can't defend, it's not really a problem with this kind of technological advantage, but I don't want to be at war. Oh wow, that's a lot of frigates. But yeah, I don't want to be at war when I go for Lisbon. Yeah, I'm not sure if one battleship will be enough to handle this. But she doesn't have any melee ships over here. I could just send two or three more battleships. Wow, that's a lot of cities that demand pearls. So I will deliver soon enough. Let's grab plus one movement. And... Plus one visibility. Coastal Raider. Alright. Build a mine. And let's keep moving with all of this. I think two artillery units will be enough. And wow, Buenos Aires has a lot of units, holy crap! <laughs> Alright, I think I used all available space now. <laughs> I need that citadel to actually move in with more units. Alright, I'll just fortify. So I don't have to skip turn every single turn. There we go. 
I actually have three great generals, so I could totally start two citadels. Yeah, it will piss off Alexander big time, but I don't really care about him. When I'm going to declare war right after, then it doesn't really matter if I'm going to piss him off or not. Alright, let's get rid of these frigates. I can't actually one-shot them, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should build some units in Edinburgh. I queued up a few buildings in here, but I'll finish the castle and actually grab some kind of unit in here. I do have enough aluminium now, so I could grab rocket artillery, but that's 10 turns. Hmm, can I grab some cheap unit? I could get a submarine. That's actually not a bad idea. Submarines don't require aluminium, and this will be enough. I don't have any submarines right now, so I also don't have any Kanda in here. So that's probably good to grab first. But I'm going to get a submarine in here anyway. If I see any melee units or melee ships, I'm just going to use gold to buy rocket artillery in Edinburgh. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. Right, I'm still at war with Austria, so I need to remember about that. But these units are going down. Let's see if she's willing to negotiate now. No, okay, whatever. Let's move out with this privateer. I don't want to heal it up, but I also don't want to lose it if I lose Vienna again. I could keep it inside the city for one more turn. Oh hey, I actually captured an archaeologist. It's a shame he's kind of useless. I could send him all the way back here, but I'm actually recruiting one more archaeologist. And I only have one more antiquity site over here. I don't see any more sites. Yeah, that's my only site remaining from the looks of it. Wow, two cities, really? They are getting on my nerves. Yeah, I don't see any more sites. He'll just stay in here for now. Doesn't really matter all that much. I'll just send two battleships down here to help with these frigates, in case Maria Theresa won't be willing to send any kind of peace anytime soon. I won't need this many battleships against Lisbon anyway, and I need to start preparing my final attack on Lisbon, Mecca and Athens. Oh, Alexander is actually attacking Mecca from the looks of it. Right, let's start moving. It will take me a while to actually reach Mecca. So, I'm just checking these battleships. I'll take the ones with logistics to attack Lisbon, and the ones without logistics to attack Athens. So, these three, that should be more than enough, really. Alright, let's move. I could actually take a shot at Klagenford for some extra experience. <laughs> because why not? I should have done that with these other two battleships, but whatever. I can actually do this with the remaining ones, because I can. That's always a good reason. And maybe that will make her more willing to send peace. Oh yeah, this one already used its shots. So, two more attacks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will make her more willing to actually send peace. Yes, attack the city. I'm not using right click because it's so easy to move your unit instead of attacking with the right click. I have done that by mistake so many times in the past that I'm trying to avoid doing that. Even if it takes a little bit more time. But I'd rather take a little bit more time than actually move my unit instead of attacking. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Oh, I should have checked if she's willing to negotiate. I'll just do it on the next turn. My tourism is actually looking pretty damn good now, <laughs> mostly because of all the great works that I stole from Bodica. Oh. No, she's not willing to talk. That's a little bit annoying. Ideology adopted, Ethiopia adopted freedom. So I might lose some happiness now. I think they had some influence over me. I don't remember. But it's fine, I'm about to finish Prora. So that will give me some extra happiness, quite a lot of extra happiness, in fact. I'm not sure about the exact number. Yeah, whatever. What's going on? Oh yeah, the city-states are fighting. Mm -hmm. 
So by the time my three battleships arrive in this general area, I should be ready to actually attack Lisbon. Wow, that's a lot of peace treaties that expired. Oh, that's with city-states? Okay. Let's move my settler. I'm quite curious how this is going to work out. <laughs> but I have already done this kind of thing before and it worked great. Right, another workboat. I hope I won't have to get more workboats. And was I getting a privateer? Oh yeah, I do have a privateer. I'll just send this privateer with my battleships. So that means I might want to get another one. I don't really need a harbor here. So I'll just get another privateer. Just to be safe. And that one will go with the battleships. Three battleships and one privateer should be more than enough to take Mecha. I would be extremely surprised if it wasn't. Meanwhile, let's get rid of these units. I need to stay in this area until Austria signs peace. There we go, and I got another great admiral, awesome. That's actually going to help, because then I can send my extra great admiral to Mecha. It's not like I need all the extra firepower, but hey, it always helps, right? Where are the frigates? There they are. Oh, is she actually at war with Ramses still? I think so. Can I fire at that frigate? No. Actually, yes, I got three more moves, so I can... Oh, great. That wasn't a good move, but whatever. I can sink one of these. I can always hide inside Edinburgh if my battleships... If my battleship takes too much damage, so that's not really a big deal. Interesting frigate in there. <laughs> it's about to have a bad day. A very bad day. There we go. You can stay here and heal. I should probably just raise Klagenford because I can. I don't think these battleships are needed in here. She's actually fighting Ramses. I thought she was going to attack Edinburgh. But that's not the case, clearly. Alright. I should probably just sleep these workers. They can't really do anything useful anymore. Is she going to sign peace yet? Oh, there we go, yes, she will. Right. Can I get all of her gold? That would be nice. 101. 335. And embassy, strategic resources. Holy crap, she has a lot of aluminium. Can I get all of that? Nice. <laughs> Wow, I have what? 43 aluminium right now. That's awesome. So, I can start moving towards Lisbon now. I'm preparing for my final attack now. So, as I said, I'm going to take Lisbon, Mecca and Athens all at the same time. So, all of these battleships will work on Lisbon, right here. These three and the privateer will work on Mecca. And all of my land units will work on Athens. And I will be able to start this city very, very soon. So I'm going to start this city in this part. And start the citadel. And as I said, I could start two citadels over here. And I'm also about to finish Prora, so that's also nice. That will give me some extra happiness. Happiness that I don't really need. Arabia lost its capital. Okay. So, right. That means Alexander actually took it. Not a problem. I don't think I'll have any trouble actually taking it. I might want to send more battleships though. Hmm, do I want... Do I need this battleship around here? I don't think I need it here anymore. I might need some basic defenses around here. Yeah, okay. I don't want to risk actually losing that city right before I win the game. That would be very, very annoying. Okay, that's my first fighter. So... Interception 1, because that's mostly what I wanted the fighters for. Move it to the carrier. And I'll just move the carrier with my battleships that are going for mecha. Let's move. This is going to be a slightly boring part, because I need to actually set up the final assault. And it will take at least a few turns. Let's move the settler. Okay, I'm going to need more than just one turn, from the looks of it. I need to make some space. Okay, I actually need to make more space here. 
Oh yeah, I can move in here. And yes, that was a valid location for a city, as you could see. And my archaeologist. This is the only antiquity site. Oh yeah, there's one more antiquity site over here. So I can send this archaeologist over here instead. I should have noticed that earlier, but whatever. Not a big deal. It's not like I need extra tourism right now. I really don't. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, I should probably heal these first. Well, I can heal them next to my capital. Or I can heal them next to Bolawayo. <laughs> Bolawayo is almost in range of Lisbon. And Portugal has a lot of ships, but they are kind of behind me technologically. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think Alexander already had some battleships. Yeah, he does have one battleship. So I might want to send more battleships to Athens, just in case he has some over there. He might have some battleships near Athens, that's quite possible. Alright, fighter is done. What can I get in here now? A lot of things. I could grab another fighter, but that's going to take a little bit too long, 9 turns. I could grab a seaport in here. Nah. That's only plus two hammers. I'll just go for factory. I have more than enough coal now to get a factory in every single city that I own. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'm about to start a city over here. Okay, she wants me to either move out or declare war. I would normally declare war in this situation because backstabbing someone like this gives you a huge penalty to everyone's opinion of you, but since this game is about to end very soon, I don't really care about backstabbing people like this, because their opinion of me won't really matter when the game is going to end, in probably 20 turns max. I expect this game to be done in maybe 20 turns. Perhaps a little bit more, but I don't think so. It's mostly going to be the time that I need to move to Mecca. And yeah, Prora is done. That gave me quite a bit of extra happiness that I don't necessarily need. And I got a new tenant. What can I get? Oh, this might be useful, mobilization. Because I will have a city close to Athens and I could buy some units in there. So I think I'm going to grab mobilization. 33% is actually huge. That will save me up to a few hundred gold per unit. I don't need extra happiness and this wouldn't give me a lot of happiness anyway. And all of these other tenets are kind of useless for me. Elite forces might be useful, I suppose. But I think mobilization is going to be more useful in this situation. Yeah, okay, let's grab that. And now I can actually... Oh, and I finished the research lab. Nice. Let's see how far ahead I am in science rate right now probably close to 200 ahead yeah <laughs> i'm massively ahead of pretty much everyone yeah just look at this it's pretty crazy how far ahead i am now and let's start the city he will be pissed off a bit but i don't really care and now i can actually start the citadel again this will piss him off but i don't really care about that i could start two citadels but let's do one first yeah yeah whatever I don't care about what you think. Right, I want to move the infantry in the front, kind of. Although it doesn't really matter all that much. Most of these machine guns only have one hex range. I can swap them with places later, I suppose. Alright, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.